Hello, hello, welcome to the wonderful world of Facebook Live with me, Martin, and the rambling thoughts that are rolling around this little spherical dome up here. So, hope you're well. I uh, wanted to come on today and just have a little chat with you on Facebook Live and um, chat about the journey of life. So, we're all on this same journey, and uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about that today and see. Maybe if we can start a conversation about this this journey of life that that we're on, and um, the concept of a, a journey, um, what we generally think of is um, we think of a, the journey as where we're going to get at the end. So we think we start at point A and we we end up at at point B or C or whatever, and that the point of the journey is where we get to at the end, and that, that's how how we think about it. Maybe in um, maybe in um, our our work life, our career, our um, um, goals that we have in life, we're always looking at what's 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 at the end of this. What's what's going to happen at the end, and what what am I going to achieve? Or um, if it was the career, we'll get get to the the top point of this career. I want the best um, job that I can get. Get the the most amount of money. The most amount of Recognition and power, and that's then. Then I'll be happy, um, and then we we get, we maybe we get to that point, and then we've got there, and then then what happens is does the journey finish then? Um, we don't know. It's it's different for different people, but um, then we can look at in in general life. Then we look at so we work our life, we work our whole life, it's say in Western society, to to be able to earn enough money so we can retire and then just relax. Um, and then our whole life journey is we're, we're born and we die and so in, in between is the whole purpose of our life um, to get to, to death that's kind of where we've got it back to front where we're always looking at the end result of anything that we do um, and what we really need to do to, to, to get real peace and get real happiness and balance is to forget about the, the outcome release the the need for something to to be a certain way or I need to get this job or I need to be with this person or I need to do these certain things at the end of this journey. The point of the journey of life and the point of any journey is to enjoy the journey as it unfolds. Um, and that's what they mean about living in the moment when you hear about being present and being in the moment. That means enjoying the journey now because if the journey is always about the destination, then you're always reaching. You're all you never get there because once you know happiness is a state of being. So if we say that the, this certain job or this certain achievement will will give me happiness, once that is achieved, well, does that um, does that mean we we achieve this job, we achieve this whatever it is? Does that mean we're happy for the rest of our lives and then we just stop? General, generally no I would say maybe there are some exceptions to this where people achieve some things and that gives them lifelong happiness but those things like material things and achievements in financial or jobs or even relationships they all those things change they always they move they're not constant what real inner peace and happiness is is a is a, it's a constant thing it stays with us all of the time um, it's it's something that doesn't leave us it's something that doesn't flow up and down it's always there as a constant it's a constant um, balance and peace and you achieve that really through self-realization through meditation through yoga breath work um, and other methods that uh, people can achieve it in, in other ways but what this means is that you're enjoying the moment as it comes and you, the, the, you have these ups and downs during this journey but you're not always just looking at this, um, the top of the mountain or the end of the journey. You're actually looking, where am I at now? Am I at the at bottom of the hill where I have to climb or am I at the top of the hill where I have to uh, go down for some time or is it just um, stable? And the journey of life in the material world and the physical world will always be up and down and up and down, but your response to it will can always be in a balanced way and it can always stay here and undercurrent. And, regardless of what's going on in the outside world, regardless of experience, regardless of the changing world, which is always changing. So all of these things will, will move and change. But what can be, if, if you practice it, what can be uh, stable is your response to that. So keeping your, um, your, your response 
in a in a it's not a reactive way it's a it's a response so I see this condition in my life that may be positive it may be negative but I can respond to this in a positive balanced way and therefore I can um, use it in a positive way even the most negative things that we see or we can experience we can they can turn into the biggest blessings of our life if we use them in that way as a catalyst for change and then the positive things if we um, we we also look at those in a in a balanced way when things are going good we look balanced we don't think um, we get um, maybe an arrogance or like everything is going well I've done it all I know everything I've, I have nothing more to learn I've, I've done this all that again is going to be damaging as well because um, because those things are momentary they are fleeting they will they will change they will leave your body will age your jobs will come and go relationships will come and go money comes and goes but what remains is you that essential essence that consciousness that uh, perception of of now so you as that uh, conscious perceiver of the now if you uh, keep your your focus here and now then you you're always going to be balanced you're going to be here you're going to be uh, in a in a level playing field if you're always following the ups and downs of life like this then it's going to be a roller coaster which can be exciting sometimes it can be scary sometimes but the, we can still have those those um, pleasurable ups and downs but with a balanced response and without the, the emotional upheaval and the and the feeling of victimization and the the really just coming to the realization that we have we have the choice, always have free choice to respond to whatever life um, throws up to us. And again, as I said, we we create our reality. So everything that is that is coming to us is through what we are giving out to the world, what we are, what our thoughts are, what our um, words are, what our actions. So, but the the fun of this and the and the experience that we come here for is the unpredictability of that because we don't have conscious awareness of this um, to any great degree. Good morning. Hi Claire, how are you doing? Hope you're well. Um, uh, so we don't have conscious awareness of this creation process to, for a lot of people we don't. Um, we can read about it and even I have a, feel like I have a good knowledge of it now but we still a lot of times don't see it like very clearly or we don't have it experientially that we that I have this thought then I say this word and I take this action and then um, in sometime uh, in the future which doesn't really exist either but sometime in this experience of, of linear time um, I will have a manifestation that was created from from those things so a lot of us are not aware of those good morning Marie how are you doing I hope you are well thank you for joining uh, so it's being aware that we are creating a reality um, and that that means that we need to observe our thoughts observe what our what our words are creating observe how our actions are leading to to what we see around us and and um, and knowing that people around us are also a reflection of us and it's not um, them and us we are one it's they are reflecting uh, they're reflecting elements of your consciousness, of your being, of how you react. So you can see that clearly. You know if you um, if you talk to a person in a certain way, it will generally give a, a certain... If you talk to a person in a negative way, generally that's going to lead to a, a negative um, response from them. If you talk to them in a positive, loving way, it'll uh, generally lead to a positive, loving response. And that's a very simple way of looking at it, but all of these, this creation, it, it comes from that. It does. It comes from your thoughts and your words and your actions. And so, uh, the point of the video was the journey of life. So this journey of life is always just moments of now, 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 now. As you watch me now, we're just going through several moments, millions of moments, like many moments that are just going through, through, through. And because we agree to to follow this linear timeline where we're all together to experience growth and evolution you're experiencing the same if you're watching this video live or if you're watching this video in the future we're still watch. it's still now it's still now you can watch this in five years time if you watch this video it's still on Facebook if it still exists it'll still be now 
And the fact that I've said this uh, on this date at this time is irrelevant. But you, when you watch it there, it'll still be here now. So our journey is just now, 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 now. And if we are aware of that, and if we know that we are creating what is around us in each of those moments and now, then we start to be able to create the things that we want and create the life of our dreams and uh, enjoy the career that we have without without thinking what's next, what's, what, uh, what can I achieve next, how, how much money am I going to achieve if I get this promotion or um, enjoy being single now without worrying about oh, I need to have this partner within the next uh, year or so. No, be happy with yourself now, love yourself now and then um, when you resonate that, when you vibrate that vibration, if it's meant to be and if it's relevant for you, the, the, that partner will, will be there at the right time. It's all in, in perfect timing. That's the other thing we have to let go of this um, insistence on a particular way a thing should look or a, a time that it should come. We put out, we put out a vibration of happiness, of love, of, of what we want to, to be, and then we just live our life moment by moment by moment. And those things of what we are and what we be and what we say and what we do, they will come to us. Um, but if we are too stuck up on the on the time that it takes for for these manifestations to come to my life, or or it should look in this exact way that I've imagined it, or, or I've written it down, or I've I've said it, the the universe and creation can give you a much grander version of what what you could ever imagine because it's unlimited. We are limited in this physical this physical incarnation in, in, to some degree, um, so. We can put out what our desires are um, in a in a certain way, and it's good to be like to visualize it, see it, think it, talk about it. But we let go of the um, let go of how the results should look. We're we're too results oriented. This comes from the 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 monetary system, the the careers, and these things. It's these this result. It must look like this. I have to get this at this time. And the people that are the most successful are the people that forget about the results and. They just trust and know that in their ability and their creation ability, and this includes people in like the, the corporate world and these types of things. They they are outside. The real successful are outside of results. They're they're just now. I know I have value now, and I will give value to others, and that will create more value. And I I let go of what the results will look like. I'm not thinking about five years and when when I can retire. I'm, I'm thinking about now, what do I do now? How do I make my life better? How do I raise my vibration and raise that energy uh, level around me so that the people around me feel that vibration, they feel better, and then in turn that, that grows exponentially. So that's, that's what real success is, is, and that's what the journey is about. It's about enjoying every single moment. And every, like as you watch this video, we're having moment after moment after moment, and that's what it is, and that's why I talk so much about the breath because the breath takes you back into now every every single time. Most other experiences that you have are going to be fleeting and passing, and obviously your awareness of your breath can be fleeting and pa passing as well. But you can put your your awareness on it now for a short time. You can take a slow, deep breath now. And if I keep my focus on that inhale and that exhale. I am completely in now. I'm not in the past. I'm not in the future. I'm right here, right now, and that's where creation happens. That's where my um, that's where my flow is, and that's where like athletes and these type of people when they're in flow, they say they're in flow. What that is is they're in the zone. They're not thinking. Their their thinking mind is gone. They're not thinking how do I look. They're not thinking uh, what will the score be. Uh, we're not thinking about who, are we going to win at the end of the season. No, they're in flow now. They're in, like football or basketball or. Or whatever these these sportsmen and you just see the sportsmen and women sorry that um, you see them just in in flow and it looks easy and they they seem to have more time than anyone else. Why is that? It's because they're in flow. They're in the moment, and that's how we can. It doesn't have to be sports. If you can live your life in flow, in the moment, knowing that now, every every time my thoughts go to the past or go to the future, I'm taking myself out of my flow, which is now where I can create. Because if my thoughts are in the past, it's something that's already gone. I, I don't have any conscious control of it other than changing how my thoughts and feelings are about that now. 
if I'm thinking about the future, it's something that hasn't manifested. Although on the grander scale, it already exists. It's just you're uh, yet to choose it. You're yet to bring it into your reality as as experience. But if you're focused on that, on results and the end of the journey, or the promotion, or the the relationship, or the amount of money, you're taking yourself out of the flow, which is here and now, where you create that. You create that now. You create that with exactly what you do now. So it's it's just important to enjoy the journey and that's and it's much e your life will be much easier if you enjoy the journey and and don't think about the the consequences or the outcomes or the the results you release those and this doesn't mean that you don't set goals or you don't have to um you don't want to set uh desires and set things that you want in your life of course set set those set those intentions and put those out to the world and then just release them and then enjoy and then uh, keep the thoughts words and actions that will lead you towards that and know that that is a wide spectrum of what the universe could provide of us so i might say i want i want this promotion with with this job with this certain amount of money so i can put that as a desire today and then I just let go of it. Then I move my life in the direction. So I think about how, how my perfect job would be. I, I start speaking with people who maybe have that job or who know about that. So I talk about that. And then my actions are moving me towards. Do I need to gain some knowledge or wisdom to take me in that direction? And I may have that very clear picture of that job or opportunity in my head. But if I'm very much focused and it must be this, it must be this company, it must be this amount of money, it must happen within this time, then I'm blocking all the other possibilities that the universe can just draw to me easily when I'm open and expansive. So if I'm open and I let allow that to happen, I keep those same desires. I don't waver on my desire. I just keep my faith and I follow, follow this. Then the universe could bring me a much better job that pays double the money at a place that I love with people I love. That's when you're open and expansive that can happen so let go of of too much um, control of results too much looking at the end of the journey too much of um, control is is the thing that we try to control too much and the the funny thing is we as much as we think we do we control very little and we're only it's only an illusion to ourselves that we can control these these things because we are creating our reality, yes, but we live in a in a mass consciousness where everyone else is creating their reality as well. So we are in the middle of this massive creation sip where we have an agreed, re a general agreed reality where we'll follow these timelines, we'll follow these general rules of gravity and and time moving from this to this, and we have these agreed rules, and everyone is creating their own version of their uh, desires and you have an agreement with, with them. So you have to let go of actually control, control, control because you can't control the creation for someone else. They are the only person, you are the only person that can create and, and uh, uh, create for yourself. Um, you can't create for, for someone else and too many times we try to control others, we try to create for them, we try to create for our children, we try to create for our, our employees that's not how creation works and that's where resistance and that's where negativity and bre uh, relationships break down so we have to know that we can if if in the case of let's say it was employees or something like that we can again we can set this desire this intention for our company and for our employees and put that out there and put those general guidelines and give them the tools and give them the the encouragement and give them all of the all of the um necessary conditions that will allow your desire for your company to um, to do well for your company to expand and for them to expand with you and then allow and trust in the creative abilities of each one of your your members of your team to create for them because they want they want um, wellness abundance they, they want that so you put out that desire and then just allow allow them to do that it's, this concept came from um, uh, Lao Tzu, I can't remember which verse, but in the, the Tao Te Ching, uh, I read uh, Wayne Dyer's um, translation of that. It's but there are very many, but it's an amazing book. It's called Change Your Thoughts, Change Your World, and he looks at one verse of the the Tao Te Ching every day. So there's 81 verses, and so one of the verses is about great leaders. How great leaders are, they are invisible. Really, they don't you don't um, you don't notice that they're there. Um, 
but what they do is support and guide and, and give assistance when needed, but they, they trust and allow in their, in their people, in their followers, in, in whatever um, stream we're talking about, and, and they're the ones that, that get the results. And, and the leaders who are overbearing and you see them all the time and they're always like, they don't trust their people, those are the leaders that they don't have any, they don't have any followers, they don't have any trust. They may be able to lead and control people by fear and by um, control methods, but uh, as soon as they they um, are not looking, or as soon as there is there's some uh, kink in their armor, those followers will leave. Those followers will will move onwards. They 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 don't have any faith. So a, a real leader and a real um, visionary and a real inspiration will have trust and will will. Uh, allow their people to, to flourish and, and trust in their creative abilities. And so just enjoy your journey of your life because we're all on this journey and um, we have these moments by moment, 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 moment. And we have a choice every moment. And we can choose to have fun, live life to the full, enjoy what arises. If it's, if it's negative, use it in a, look at the way in which we can use it in a positive way as a catalyst to, to move in the direction where we're we are happy. If it's a more um, if it's a more positive and things are going really well, we always keep this keep the mind of a student. Keep it, don't um, get to the point where we think we know it all. We don't need to learn anything else. We don't need to. We just know everything. We we, we have it done um, because that again is it's going to take you out of the moment and it's going to make you you're not going to create the things that you want because you, th you feel like you've done it all. So if the, the universe is just going to stop, stop giving you those things. Go so Even when things are going good, this doesn't mean that you just, uh, okay, that's it, it's done, I, I leave it. No, it's always keeping that balance, knowing that you're creating the positive and the negative and using that, using that creative power for always focusing on what you want and focusing on the positive and you all go through ups and downs everyone does and that's life and that's what we chose to come here for us to experience those and the people that are that use negative or or challenging events as catalysts and as as signposts to okay uh, this has moved me in a way that i that i don't desire they use that as a signpost to move the other way then they have a successful happy healthy abundant um wealthy life um, the people that use uh, use challenges and and see themselves as a victim of of every challenge and it's always outside it's always other people it's it's not me those people will constantly because because of how I said we're in this creation soup where everyone is creating their reality with within this agreed framework that we all share so if we see ourselves as victim as victims of other people we are going to be always victims because we are always going to be unless we hide in a cave for forever and on our own we're always going to have interactions with others who are creating their reality in the way that they want and um, we have to be able to respond in a balanced way and and realize that that creation they are free to create in, in any way that they wish and this includes family members and and friends and everyone has their own idea of what what's what's right for them what what works for them um, so it's really just staying in the moment and enjoying the journey step by step every time and that will transform the journey of your life it'll transform the journey of your career it'll transform the journey of your relationship it'll transform everything because all of it is a journey all of it it starts when we're born and it, it finishes in this physical earthly realm when we when we die it never really finishes it, it goes on infinitely because we have infinite um, possibilities infinite incarnation infinite um, areas of creation that we ha couldn't have any like even remote imagination of while we're here because we've given ourselves this this chosen amnesia to come here to experience this this contrast this this dark and light this movement this expansion so just enjoy your journey and um, I'm happy to be part of your journey if you've watched this video today this is a journey as well from start to finish and I'm happy if you you've joined live um, and if you watch this in in the future it's it's part of it's part of the journey that goes on and just enjoying each moment as it comes and without judgment and without the need to to control the outcome control results 
then you will find that your journey is a is a very very beautiful one and a, a peaceful one and even when the challenges comes up we can also see those as blessings and see them as a, as a, just part of the journey that we that we do um, I just thought of another quote from the, the Tao Te Ching that's probably the most um, famous quote and it's about a journey that's what I wasn't thinking about this before I started the video but it, it's it's come to me now and so probably you've heard of it as well so a journey of a, a thousand miles begins with a single step and so this uh, Lao Tzu, the, the Tao Te Ching, he, he was um, many years before Jesus. So I, I think it's, um, I'm not sure how many, but I know it's, it's before the time of Jesus. So it was a long, long time ago. And it's one of the, one of the best um, wisdom, books of wisdom that there, there is available to us. And um, Lao Tzu, there's lots of translations of it. I would really uh, recommend reading that if you, if you get a chance. I really like, um, as I said, um, Wayne Dyer's version of that, Change Your Thoughts, Change Your Word. It's an amazing, very short read, just short verses every day. He gives his translation, and then he gives you like an action that you can that you can take on that day towards um, enjoying each step of your journey. So, yes, I think I have baked myself enough. I've, I kept the phone just inside out of the sun today so it wouldn't overheat, So, but I'm actually getting a wee bit overheated myself. It's hot, and it's all going on this right side. So I think I will leave it there. Um, as I said, thank you very much for joining me on my journey. And I am very happy to be part of yours in whatever way um, that has been in person or in, in this virtual world and however it may manifest in the future. Um, if you want to contact me, you can get in contact through here on Facebook or on WhatsApp. You can go to my website, activatebreathwork.com. Always to say to check out the lifestyle section there for lots of great tips of how you can you can change your life today with lots of alternative videos, um, lots of books. I actually need to update some some book sections there because I've got got some amazing um, books that I'd like to add. Um, if you'd like to work with me in um, one on one, I'm offering um, activate your life Skype sessions where we work on all areas of your life: relationships, money, uh, health, and everything and everything in between. Um, I will do, do those on Skype and obviously in person if you if you are in Portugal or if you can come to Portugal we do breath work yoga uh, energy work here we are doing retreats there's lots of other work we do on Skype as well you can check out the website there um, we're doing retreats here in Portugal where we are offering like uh, just absolutely life transformational um, three five and seven day retreats where you can come here and we will go through a lot of the things that I've talked about here but you'll actually live them every day so we as I say we'll start from the morning the journey starts um, as soon as you wake up before you've even got out of bed the journey will start there and yes these retreats are if you want to really take your your life to the next level and really a reset or transformation this is this is something that I, I know from from feedback from experience from people that we've worked with all around the world um, on on shorter um, we most of the transformations that we've we've um, given people have been in sessions that last maybe two to three hours and now we've taken that those principles and those um, those practices and we've expanded them into three days five days seven days so you can just imagine uh, if what we can do in two three hours and I again when I say what we do I mean we I mean that it's uh, it's not like we are doing something magical and you you receive it's the, it's a self it's a self work we will just guide you and show you the things that have worked for us and and allow you to choose make those choices for yourself and if you do you can transform your life and you can transform your life without this as well as I say that because of that uh, that consciousness that creation power that we have you can do this um, on your own and I did this um, to a large degree on my own so I say you don't need you don't need other people but sometimes um, if we've had many years or we've tried lots of things and they've not worked or or it's it's like um, if you go to the gym and you train on your own or you're lifting weights or you're doing some sort of um, like challenging um, exercise or whatever you can always go further and deeper with a personal trainer or with, or with a partner that's there that's going to encourage you, that's going to show you that whenever you're feeling a bit tired or weak, they're always going to encourage you. And, and you're go that's, that's 
way why these retreats work, why the one-on-one -on -one works on Skype, why the these things actually work because you have someone to support you, to someone someone that's experienced what you're experiencing and knows the challenges and and have got through it and they can they can help you. So check those out. Um, contact me if you want to um, get involved in any of those things. Um, we'd love to see some of you here in Portugal. And as I say, for anyone that doesn't travel um, or isn't in a position to travel, we will. We will be doing events um, around um, Europe and the Middle East coming up soon. We're just getting everything set up here first. The other thing that I have planned to do, and I have made a beginning on it, I talked about it yesterday, is to create and go to create a, a membership Facebook group for people who who can't um, can't uh, attend one of our retreats here, but are interested in changing their life. So I'm creating now the like the retreat that we are doing but a retreat that you'll be able to do um, via via online by um, we're going to create the Facebook group where everyone will be together to support each other um, we will have I will have videos I'll have live videos I'll have instructions on what you do every day on how to do it and then we'll be there in the group to to support each other and help each other along so that will be as I say I'm in the process of creating that now um, I've got the broad framework of it and I'm saying I'm taking all the all the positive all the life change and transformative uh, things that we've done on our retreats and our workshops and taking them and into a program where you can do on your own at home with support because I will be there as a, a as a support just not in person we'll be there on live video on the Facebook group so if you're interested in that let me know um, I'm, I've got some people already that that want to to join there so let me know and we will we will um, get that all set up very soon as I say I'm, I'm getting that done so wherever you are in the world I wish you lots of love have an amazing day have an amazing weekend and I will see you in another version of the now very very soon thank you very much ciao see you soon